Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ariane and I'm a luxury travel advisor. First stop of the day is Brandywine Falls Provincial Park. Brandywine Falls is located about 17 kilometers south of Whistler Village on the Sea of Sky Highway. It's a very easy walk from the parking lot to the falls and takes about 10 minutes in each direction. You'll know when you get to the Brandywine Falls as you'll come across the viewing platform. There is also another beautiful valley view a little further down the path. You can see Black Tusk and some of the other snow-capped mountains from here. Trainwreck is another now popular spot to check out near Whistler. To get to Trainwreck Trail from Vancouver, head north on the Sea of Sky Highway until you reach the first traffic light in Whistler. This area is called Function Junction. Turn right at the light and follow the road over the Chequemus River. You'll come to a road on the right and follow that road down to a gravel parking lot. It's free parking here. Once you've parked in this area here where the parking lot is, you'll head back down the road towards the trailhead which is now very clearly marked past the logging road. Many people call this the train wreck hike, but it's really just an easy walk in. It's also easy enough to push a stroller if needed. It is a gravel packed trail with a few mild inclines. The walk should take you between 10 to 20 minutes each way depending how fast you walk. One of my favorite highlights of this walk is the beautiful suspension bridge right before the train wreck. There is a lovely bench to sit at and relax and take in the views of the rushing Chequemus River below. You'll find some information boards about the train wreck before you cross the bridge. Once you cross the suspension bridge, you've arrived to the train wreck. The train derailed back in 1956, and there's still six rail cars here, scattered around the site. I love to visit train wreck in Whistler, British Columbia because it's a unique art installation that changes pretty well each time I've visited. It's a beautiful walk and I personally enjoy visiting quite early in the morning as I have the entire wreck to myself for usually quite a bit of time. It's also a great place for Instagram photos. It's an authorized graffiti zone by the municipality of Whistler so you can check out and climb the abandoned train cars at your own risk of course making your own art if you so choose.
you're interested in reading my full blog post on train wreck near Whistler, Canada, I've linked it in the description box below. Also, be bear aware, Whistler is obviously a community surrounded by beautiful mountains and lush forests and we do share these forests with other animals. I personally haven't seen a bear on the trail to train wreck, however, it is bear country, so be sure to pack out whatever you bring in. There are no trash cans at train wreck, so please be a responsible human. visit to Brandywine Falls and train wreck, it was time to head into Whistler Village for dinner. One of my favorite restaurants in Whistler is the Mexican Corner. I caught their fiesta hour, which is their happy hour, and ordered a mango margarita and guacamole to start. My main was the enchiladas verde. I highly suggest coming here. The Mexican food here at Mexican Corner is absolutely the best I've had outside of Mexico. If you'd like to learn more about Whistler and other places I suggest to stay and eat, please visit my travel guide to Whistler found in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this episode highlighting my visit to Brandywine Falls and train wreck near Whistler, British Columbia. Be sure to subscribe, hitting the subscribe button down below. It does help support my channel. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks again and see you again next week.